What's up guys, I am Danny Anime and I am here with one of the co-creators of the project The Orange Spark Unleashed and if you don't know what this project is, this is a live adaptation of the anime Naruto and honestly I am in full support of this and I just want to ask some questions about the project and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's get started. What made you start with this project and what got the ball rolling I guess exactly? How did it get started? There's something that I have always dreamed of ever since I was a kid. And let me just say that a live adaptation series, seeing it online, it's funny. Uh, now these days, it's, it's hilarious, you know, they're making all these funny videos of live adaptation being funny, parody stuff. And I think that's really cool. I dig it to get yeah, the views and everything. Yeah. Um, but my version of art is fully adaptation. I want to see emotion. I want to see tears. I want to see um, the feeling, the emotion, you know. Um, I do love the laughter and everything like that, but what I enjoy more is that feeling you get when seeing somebody push through the limit that inspires, that brings out your spark. Something that sparks your eyes and gets your attention. That is what got my attention to make me want to be able to create such a project such as this. We have about over 80 characters. I, I lead a lot of people around Florida that are a part of this great organization of ours. And it started because, well, everyone's a dreamer. Everyone's course, fighting. Everyone has a dream. And when you cosplay, I'm not trying to say you want attention. I'm just trying to say you're putting your art out there. And as a cosplayer, I understand that feeling. I cosplay my character, Naruto. So it's like, as Naruto, I want to be that role model. I want a dream, I fight for that dream, and everyone in their course, own right yeah. is cosplaying that person that inspires people. And when I brought this idea to people, they were all for it. Of course. And it, like I said, it just sparked a lot of their attention. I don't mean to be so cliche, but no, hey. of course, yeah. I mean, Thinking about a live action Naruto adaptation would be amazing. Naruto has touched the lives of many people, and including myself. I've been watching Toonami, and I've been watching Naruto for a long time. And seeing that you guys are doing a live adaptation is great. And seeing that you guys have a Patreon is just amazing. And I will definitely leave the link for that in the description of the video. And I, I just want to ask, like, what do you think makes the difference between yours and other live adaptations of anime? Just because there's been a bad rep and that there is a bad rep for live adaptation, I feel like you guys and seeing some footage that's already been released, that there you guys do have promise and I really want this project to succeed. The difference between ours and theirs is uh, corporations like to grab a hold of the anime and make it their own. And I get that. I completely get that. It's uh, You shouldn't be watching the same thing over multiply many times. But sometimes when things worked, when things really worked and through many key scenes, not naming anything, Dragon Ball Evolution, <laughs> uh, when key scenes happen that got your attention, that inspired you when you watched it when you were a kid, when that inspiration irradiated from seeing that at such a young age, that is what we are trying to deliver, what we inspire to deliver, not just for ourselves, but to for you as the audience. And that's what's going to be the difference between ours and ours. I just, I love your guys' project, and I think it's great that you guys are doing this. And just for everyone watching, I want to know, how can other people help out? And besides supporting your Patreon, is there anything else we can do to help the project, like move, moving forward? Well, I do want to say, with most of us starting out, we put our money into it. So this is a slow thing. We didn't ask for like a grand or ten grand or we yeah, didn't ask that makes for that. Sense. Yeah. Well, none of us are rich and that's uh -huh. something that we want to inspire to be. We want to make sure that when we deliver, we delivered from nothing. You want this project to be successful and you want it to have you know, a positive impact and actually make money it, from yeah. the project. And in our own right, not only are we making a live adaptation for a series that's inspiring, but us as an individual, us as a group, we want to be inspired. We want to 
uplift people who are scared of being able to do stuff mm -hmm. like this because they think that there's no way that this is possible. Yeah. And so honestly, if you could, give a buck or two. Mm -hmm. And as far as like into the Patreon, mm -hmm. if you can help in any kind of way, that would be most appreciative. And I gotta say, one other thing, one giant aspect that has also kind of slowed the project down is the amount of editing we have. We don't have too many people that know that, and a lot of us have and live our own individual lives, which I gotta give the most respect to everyone who goes out of their way, that goes the distance, that goes and requests time off, makes all the choices they've chosen up to this day to help us as much as they possibly can. That makes sense. People working, you know they work 40 hours a week or somewhere around that, and they need that support. They they need to go that extra mile. And if you guys are willing to go that extra mile, then you guys can help this project. And like I said, I really want this project to succeed, and I really want it to be well, and I really want it to be well done especially, because I think this has a lot of promise. <laughs> believe it. <laughs> and, of course, believe it. That's the main part of Naruto. That's the main part of the dub. <laughs> and, you know, I just, I love this project, and I love everything that it stands for, and I just, I just, I can't get enough of it. Is there anything that else is going to be released online for the viewers to see or anything in the future? Absolutely. Uh, throughout this year, we have a lot of preparation that is finally becoming uh, one. They are amazing. Look at that shit. Oh my god. All right, anyways. So, we have prepared. We have triumphed over so many things. We have put so much money of our own money that we worked hard for that we could be spending course, yeah. having our own lives somewhere else. Not having to do this, but we do it anyways because we love it. We are... Fighting Dreamers. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> and I gotta say that we have finally at this point have enough footage that even without editing, even a lot of editing, a lot of time, we're gonna be making shorts, we're gonna be making teases, we're gonna have pictures out there, professional uh, advertising, not only the group, the characters, but also the people that are working with us, yeah, working close okay. with us, that they deserve as much time, as much effort, as much attention as they, they, they need. Because they in their own right, are amazing people mm -hmm. and I love them and they are my family. That's and great. I love how you guys are so close. You guys, it sounds like you guys are a family and you know personally you know working on YouTube and stuff I love to help out and you know I bet there's tons of people on YouTube and my YouTube channel who would love to help out with you guys and anything in Florida going on I'd love to help out and I just want this project to be successful like I said and I really think this project is just a great idea and a step in the right direction. And once again, I just want to ask, like, how do you intend to make this successful? And like, what do you think is going to make this different from other live adaptations? The feeling, the personality, the acting, and how the story stays the story. <laughs> how the story is continuous mm -hmm. upon mm -hmm. how it was perceived through the anime mm -hmm. is how it will be perceived mm -hmm. through our live adaptation. Okay. The same feeling you got will be driven into your heart again, again, and again through I seeing something that you grew up with brought back to real life, baby. Of course. So, a big issue I think with Naruto was a lot of the fillers and I'm hoping and I'm guessing you guys are going to skip a lot of the filler stuff. We completely understand that being fans ourselves, okay? <laughs> Alright, that is actually a really good point. Uh, we are going to make sure that yes, fillers are great. We understand that you know, Neji had a pass over and over and yeah. over and over. Gar yeah. had a pass over and over and over. There's we are not going to spam. Exaggerating. Yes, we are not going to spam that. We are going to be impacting Low volume, high impact. We're gonna keep the fighting going. Mm -hmm. We'll have flashes of that link they had in the past, mm -hmm. but it's not gonna be anything nearly as fillery as you'd expect. Mm -hmm. We're merely going to have episodes based off of the series, based off of key fights that we'll be performing, and hopefully, if everything goes correct, which I know it will. <laughs> that of course, you we'll know. go ahead and have those episodes. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. So I know you guys talked about doing a movie or episodes, but seeing as episodes, do you guys intend to do like a shorter like version of 
Naruto Part 1 and then going into Part 2 Shippuden? Is something like along those lines? Well, actually, this is going to be pretty cool. So what we're going to do is have mainly the clips, as you said, fillers, right? Mm -hmm. Mainly going to be based off of uh, clips off of the past from like okay. Part 1, right? Okay, yeah. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of Boruto. Boruto the Next Generation is great. Boruto is great, you I know? I love it. I yeah. am a bigger fan of Shippuden, but uh -huh. hey, you know what? I love, I'm starting to love in this Boruto next generation, yeah, you know what I mean? It's really nice. So what the key element is we're doing is we're constructing based off of Shippuden, having fillers back to part one, going into Boruto's next generation. And what's okay. really cool is we're studying, we're researching, we're putting everything we got. We're going into Wikipedia, we're doing everything we can to make sure no, we know all every... all the research makes a difference. Every, yes, every key element that makes the character the character, we're going back and we're researching that. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing after Shippuden, we're going to be showing what's going on that you're not seeing in boards. Oh, that's great. Okay. And other than that, we're also going to be using Naruto as the door to open to many possibilities. That's great. And doing other live adaptations. Uh, I can't name the other live adaptations that we got so far. A lot of them are very hype. A lot of them are something that I know everyone's going to love. And hey, you never know. What we'd like to do is open it up to our own original series. Maybe That's something great, like this. You know? We got many opportunities. We have many possibilities, mm -hmm. but we have to open the door first. It's great. Like I feel like there was a there's a huge time skip between you know ship it in and then the start of Boruto. And I feel like that's an area that could be covered by you guys. And I think that's great that you guys are trying to, you know, create your own canon per se of like what Boruto could be. And I think that's great. Like delving more into the, you know, after Shippuden and developing more of what, you know, the original, you know, characters are, that that's great. And I love that. And I really can't wait to see this project. And I'm glad that you guys are just diving straight into the canon material and following canon material. A lot of those fillers, I feel like, affected a lot of people. And the fact that you guys are going into all this stuff is great and I'm so excited to see when this project gets finished. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, do you guys have any, any expected release date of when any of the material might be released? We definitely have ideas. Uh, after Holiday Matsuri, we are effective immediately going to be starting this uh, program. I do not know exactly when, but it's definitely going to be somewhere in January. Okay. We're going to initially going to be Every day is going to have something on our page, our Facebook page, mm -hmm. Naruto, the Orange Spark on Okay, of course, yeah. And it's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, mm -hmm. something around the lungs or like that. We're going to okay. have pictures every other okay. two weeks. We're going to have an interview to show something more personal to the audience that okay. these characters aren't just characters. Yeah. They're people mm -hmm. working hard for you. Mm -hmm. And then every month, it's going to be like teaser trailer okay. and then we're gonna lead up to the episodes and we're gonna look we're gonna watch we're gonna see what you want in the uh -huh. comments below and I want to see what you want if you want like fights do you want episodes do you want a movie we got them we have all of them again the only thing that has made us a little slow is just the fact that we got a very small amount of editing, and there is, trust me, a lot of editing. I mean, it's Naruto. Uh, it's Naruto. There's going to be tons of special effects. There's going to be, you know, all the tail based, all the Rasengans, Chidori's, things like that, all the ninjutsu. Yeah. All that stuff is got to be extremely hard editing. And the fact that you guys are covering that and trying to cover that is amazing. Thank you. And I, I just love the fact that you have editors that want to try and make this a reality. And I think that's, that's just awesome. Now, how long do you expect this series to continue? Will it be like 25, 50 episodes or will it be, you know, 100 episodes or something like that? Well, I gotta say, just like how the anime knocked out their side, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we all know how many episodes that was, <laughs> like over about 400. Of course, yeah, yeah. Plus yeah. the part one. Um, yeah. We don't want to make it straddle along too long. Mm -hmm. We want to give exactly what the fans want, mm -hmm. depending on what they want, how they want it. It will depend on how many episodes we will have. Okay. And let's say they want a movie. Uh, yeah. We'll give them it. 
Mm -hmm. It's all a part of what the fans want mm -hmm. and how they perceive this anime should become. Okay. Uh, we will listen and be as professional as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. That is what we're doing. We are mm -hmm. here to have fun. We're here to show live adaptation as professional mm -hmm. and as accurate as possible. Okay. I I like I cannot express how much love I have for this project and I real I'm glad that you were so willing to do this interview and all this stuff. And I'm glad you're willing to let me promote this project and everything that it stands for. Absolutely. And I really can't wait to see more of it. And just a couple more questions I have. So like do you intend to go past ship it in and go into the Boruto material? Like Absolutely. Boruto material, like especially the whole thing with uh Kawaki and you know Kawaki being a character that hasn't really been talked about that much. We have a lot of ideas, but what's really actually really cool is we work on this project. Okay. By the time we're probably out of Shippuden, mm -hmm. we're most likely gonna be seeing everything maybe that Kawaki is happening. You know of course, I mean? yeah. So we're going to have time. We're going to be able to see and research. Mm -hmm. And again, we research everything to a T, so I think we yeah. get anything to worry about. Again, mm -hmm. we're gonna look at what everybody has in their comments, mm -hmm. and we're gonna go to distance and go beyond for what she wants. And yeah. so, yes, if that means we had to go into Kawaki a little more, mm -hmm. which I'm actually looking forward to seeing myself, mm -hmm. then yes, we are. And That's great. I love how you guys are just, you have this like, spirit of wanting to continue the project and not give up. It just, it reminds me of Naruto and, you know, I feel like if Naruto was a real person, he'd want this to happen. And I love your guys' project. And I just, I want this to be a real thing and I want it to come out. And, you know, alright, I, I feel like this has gone on for a while, but I'm gonna ask just last, last question for you. Absolutely. Okay, so, do you feel like having a project like this could change the film industry itself and cause a progression of live, live adaptations because so far like we talked about this previously before the interview but like there haven't been that many great at live adaptations we've had Dragon Ball Evolution you know and you know some of the stuff the Japanese people have done and you know it's been Avatar. okay like the Attack on Titan live action wasn't that great the Tokyo Ghoul ad adaptation was okay and stuff like that has been okay but like, I feel like from the footage I've seen that you guys have promise and I feel like you guys can make a difference in the film industry in general. And not only the film industry, but like TV production as well. And bring anime to the, to the live screen. Do you guys feel the same way about the project? Well, I want to go ahead and uh, end off with this. I don't know what we'll be having, what plans will be in the future, but what I do know is that we're going to give it the best we got, and we do have our own individual take on how live action should be performed. Of course, as yeah. As accurately as possible, so if that touches anybody's hearts. A lot of stuff that's happened it hasn't been accurate to what has actually happened. Absolutely, and you know, that's something that we want to try to accomplish, of what course. we're going to accomplish. If that sparks a few people's attention, then hey, that's what it's all about. Thank you so much for spending the last 20 minutes with me. Uh, I'm Danny Anime, and guys, can you give a shout out to your channel? <laughs> or whatever you guys do? My name is Steven Gathens, the co-owner of the Orange Spark Unleashed. Enjoy, my friends. Awesome. Thank you so much. Absolutely, dude. It was awesome having an interview with you. Absolutely, dude. I hey, see you tomorrow. believe it, alright? Believe it! Woo! Believe it! Thank you. You're welcome.